Okie dokie, in this video we're knocking out the 12.1 through 3 practice quiz. Let's get started. In this number one, they say compute the following values for this given function. So this is a function of three variables, u, v, and w, and they're just asking us to find the g value for these different inputs of u, v, and w. So you'll just plug in three for u, one for v, and two for w. When we do so, we get this here. And I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think you'll just want to submit it like this if they want an exact answer. Otherwise, you'll just plug this into Desmos and get some sort of decimal, maybe around to two decimal places. I don't know. They don't specify. So this would be the first answer. And then for the second answer, I'm pretty sure you should get the same exact thing because they keep the same numbers, just sort of rearrange them. And there's a lot of symmetry to this function. So you get the same thing for both. Let's keep it going. Number two, here they say compute the following. So once again, they give us a function of multiple variables and we are just plugging in X and Y values. So I did not pre-do this, so let's uh, give it a shot. F of one, one would be one E to the one. So one E, so just E on top, one plus natural log of one times one, which is one. It's important to note that LN of one is just zero. So really this is just E over one which is just E. Now F of one, two. If we plug in one and then two, we get E squared. And then we have one plus LN of one times two, so that'd be LN of two. Now this, you'd probably just leave like that. There's no simplifying any of those terms really. So now F of two, one would be 2e to the first, so just 2e, over 1 plus ln of 2 as well. So you just leave that like that, and that should be good. They ask, does f of 1, 0 exist? That's a great question. If we do 1, 0, we're going to get 1e to the 0 over 1 plus ln of 0 times 1, which is 0. Uh, e to the 0 does equal 1, so up top we just get 1, but ln of zero is in fact undefined or does not exist. So no, it does not exist. Number three, <clears throat> they ask us to find the domain of the function. A domain of a multivariable function is basically like all the x and y values we can plug in so that we successfully get a defined f value as an output. So it's all the inputs that are possible. And in this case, inputs are not just x values, they are x and y values, sometimes x, y, and z values, whatever. So the question is, can like are there any x and y values that we could plug in here that would cause an issue? Like say, if you plugged it into a calculator, it would give you an error. And I think in this case, the answer is no. Um, you can have e to any exponent. It can, you know, e to the zero is zero. You can have e to negative numbers. That's fine. That's just going to be one over e to the positive exponents. You can have e to positive numbers. And so, like, there's no x values or y values that are off limits or prohibited or whatever. And so, I would say the domain for x and y values is just negative infinity to infinity. You can have any, you know, x and y values up in that uh, exponent. Now that's not the case, say, with something like this. 